Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my week seven and eight pregnancy updates. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Crystal and this is my second pregnancy um, that I'm doing the weekly updates for. So let's get into week seven and eight. Well, I'm just going to put week seven and eight together because in week seven, First off, everything is pretty much the same in both of those weeks, but also um, week seven, the fatigue and nausea really set in hardcore. So um, I didn't have the energy to record a week seven update. So I decided just to do them together. So in week eight, baby is the size of a blueberry. Um, as far as my weight gain or loss, I am right now I'm at 153.6 pounds. So I've lost 0.8 pounds since the beginning of my pregnancy. I am sleeping really just fine. Um, I don't have any trouble sleeping at all. Um, I'm not having to wake up to go to the bathroom or anything yet. So um, that's been great. I did not have any doctor's appointments in week seven or eight. As far as the best moment of either of these weeks, there's really nothing in particular. Um, just like week six, I'm just super grateful to be experiencing pregnancy again. So as far as symptoms, like I mentioned, the nausea and the fatigue is really kicking my ass in week seven and eight. Um, the fatigue started really hardcore in week seven and has carried on into week eight. The nausea wasn't so bad in week seven, but that's what's really picked up in week eight. Um, with my first pregnancy, I wasn't really that nauseous just for a couple of hours every afternoon. Now it's pretty much all day, every day, I just feel really nauseous. Um, I've also just had this like really, I guess related to the fatigue, this like weak feeling, like my body just feels so weak and run down. Um, and I have like a lot of body aches, like my back is still hurting, um, and just a lot of body aches and fatigue, kind of like a flu feeling. Food cravings, um, not so much in week seven, but in week eight, I started craving um, mint chocolate chip ice cream and also Subway sandwiches again. And I know that that like, I can't have cold cuts. Um, I haven't been to my first doctor's appointment yet, but I do remember that from my last pregnancy. Um, because of the increased risk of listeria, so I can't have cold cuts, which of course now that's all I really want. Food aversions, um, kind of just like everything. Like I just don't, like nothing sounds good. Like I can go all day without eating and well, not all day. So I'll wake up in the morning and I'll have breakfast and then I get to work and then I notice it's one o'clock before I've eaten anything. And then of course I start feeling nauseous because I haven't eaten anything and my stomach is empty. So it's kind of like a vicious cycle and I don't really notice that I'm not eating until it's too late and I start feeling really awful. So I'm sorry, um, aversion, just really everything, like nothing just sounds good. What I miss this week is just having energy. Like I have zero energy and I just miss having the energy to really do basically anything in life because I feel like even just getting up from bed or and taking care of a toddler is so hard and <laughs> just taking her to change her diaper it I mean everything is just seems like such a chore what I'm looking forward to again just like every other week is my first ultrasound and my first appointment which is on June 20th um, and also getting out of the first trimester I, I'm trying to enjoy it because this could be my last pregnancy but I'm just looking forward to being in the second trimester because I just want to feel better. No, I'm not feeling any movement and no, I don't have stretch marks yet. Um, and extra notes and stuff, um, just the uh, miscarriage anxiety has really amped up. I mean, as the weeks go by, they're just amping up and I'm just really scared to get to the first appointment and have our ultrasound and not see a heartbeat. Um, so that's really like just that kind of anxiety um, has been rough. But yeah, I guess that's it for week seven and eight. Um, next week we should have a much more exciting update because we will have been to our first appointment. So I'm looking forward to recording that for you guys and I hope everybody's doing great. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe so you can follow along with the rest of these updates. And we'll see you guys for week nine. Bye guys.